Hello and welcome to the show. Welcome back to the long drive where apparently reloading today he has found a truck uh, in this particular area. Uh, yes, we are back with our bright pink monstrosity. Uh, going to be continuing our adventure. Also, last time people said I had managed to forget to close the fuel tank. Apparently I didn't really lose any fuel from having been driving around with that open. Uh, also, people said you can... Oh, you can open the back of the truck. That makes it ten times easier getting in there, hopefully. Uh, is that closed again? It doesn't really matter because everything's in baskets at the end of the day. Um... Right, so yes, we are going to be continuing on. I mean, this place here will have reloaded uh, stuff inside it, hopefully, so we can go and have a look and see what we can find. The basket being probably the most exciting of the bits that we can find, really. Um, what? Oh, I think there's a bit of cactus under my truck. I was very confused for a second as to what on earth that was. Uh, I think we'll probably put stuff in the trailer for now. It's easier to do this than it is putting... It's easier to get into the trailer. Now, the other truck here is a flatbed uh, truck, which I believe are slightly easier to... Well, I mean, much like this trailer's a bit easier. This isn't going to be perfectly aligned down here. As much as I would like it to be, the game is not precise enough for that to work. So we're just going to have to accept it being janky. Uh, car, do you have... You do not have the speedo that we want. Uh, we're going to have to go to sleep. So I guess we can just do the... Whoop, jump up here. Fall asleep on top of the truck. It is the safest way to go. We'll have a look at the other truck, see if it's got anything of value on it. I doubt it's really going to. I mean, at this point, what is it going to have that we kind of don't already have. Do I still have... Oh, I can't even remember if I still have my bike in the back of this. I might take... The, I do still have my bike in the back of this. Uh, do we take... I mean, we can nick the engine from the other... from the bike that's here, seeing as it is an engine. Um, I mean, we're going to probably mess around with engines a little bit. So, yeah. Oop. That can just sit in there. Uh, so I'm not that fussed about having a bike working straight away. Like It's, it's more going to be a, a prat around sort of a job. Uh, oh dear. Okay, that's a lot of just stuck items around the place. Uh, okay, I'll take the the wire brush. That is good. And everything else seems like such a mess in here. If we try and stand up, can we kind of glitchy do some things? Right, let's take you. Oh, we'll knock everything out of the way. Yeah, let's take you. Let's see. Most of our truck, if it can be fixed up, most of it can be. Sorry, truck. I apologise for the slight glitchiness going on there. That can definitely be shinier. Uh, there we go. And then I, I don't know if we can do anything more with these bits up here. Uh, we might need... I don't think we can do anything more with... This, not that brush has got any life left in it anyway, really. Like, uh, well, I mean, I think we kind of. Oh, I was going to see what this, if this truck had anything fun. I don't know why it would, but just in case. I mean, it's not in great condition. The wheels aren't too bad at the front, to be fair to it. Uh, the radiator's not terrible condition either. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if you just came across this, it's not the worst find in the world, really. Uh, fuel tank's empty and everything. But, uh, oh, what I was looking for. Haha! -ha! It does have what we were wanting. Uh, I want this part to come with... Kind of to come with me. Uh, let's get out of here. I can see a rabbit in the distance. Can we grab this? Thank you. Looking for one of these. <laughs> so now, now we can go back to having our truck complete. Seeing as we don't really use this, I mean, it is useful to be able to access the engine and everything from there, but uh, most of the time we don't need to. So, let's just go and take this. Oh, this is going to be a difficult one. A little bit fiddly to do. Can I. Oh, bugger. How on earth am I going to get that fitted? Uh, I guess my best bet will be to uh, try and. Drop that in there, sit down, pick it up, and 
There. Haha. <laughs> we did it. Problem solved. Jobs are good and all of that stuff. Okay, so we've still got BB pallets in there. Our ammo's in the front. We have a bike. You know, I think we're good to go at this point. I guess the the only thing, hey, we, we might possibly take the truck engine with us. Do we need the truck engine, though, really? Uh, it was very glitchy last time, so maybe we're just going to leave it be for now. We'll, we'll, we'll head off. We'll find whatever the next place might have to offer. I think that the giant container ship maybe in the distance. Oh, okay, carry a little too much speed there. That's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll get back onto the... It's, it's sometimes better just to play it a little safe and uh, not try and panic in turn because that's when you really do roll. Uh, right, we're back on the road. Everything is good. We're back well past, well, well off the speedo once more. We're going to start going downhill. Fantastic. What can go wrong with this? We've only had one roll with this truck. I say that as it starts snaking around down the hill. I feel like that is definitely 100% tempting some fate there. Let's say we've already had one roll. Um, okay. Can't s I think I see a building somewhere up ahead. Let's see what that might contain. Anything exciting, anything useful? Probably not. Ooh. We are bumping around a fair bit. I don't know. Could be could be stuff moving around in the back that isn't supposed to. It could just be the terrain not being perfectly smooth. It's difficult to know. There is a rock. Uh, okay, we're fine. We got over that, no problem. But <laughs> I was committed, so I thought, well, you know what, we'll just stay flat out. It'll be easier than trying to do something to dodge that one. Um, we are not going to stop. I thought I was on the brakes early enough. Oh, no, not even close. Not even remotely close to get that one stopped. It's safe to say, I mean, okay, the truck is going a lot faster than it should. It's also safe to say the brakes are terrible on this. The handbrake is the most efficient thing at stopping it, and amazingly it doesn't lock everything, like, you don't lock the rears and spin. It just kind of stops. Right. It doesn't look like there is much here. That being said, I have found a sponge. Can we do anything with these things? The sponge. Uh, okay, yes, we can. We can make them all chrome. <laughs> right, there is a use. We still have a use for the sponges. We still have something we can be working on with our truck. Uh, is that even going in the right... Whoa. Oh, dear. Uh, okay, we're fine. Just about managed to not slide off the truck. <laughs> that was a dicey way of cleaning it. I feel like there are better ways of cleaning it than sort of crabbing your way alongside it while you're frantically trying to wash it. Yes, that is uh, absolutely the way to go. Is this sponge spent? Or does it still have... I mean, it looks pretty mank, if I'm honest with you. Um... But it does seem to be doing some sparkly particle effects. You know, why am I doing this difficult way? When I could do this the real easy way. I don't know. <laughs> this is the at least slight, slight easier way, I guess. Okay, yeah, now that, is, that one there is gone. That can go away. Uh, right, we can reconnect. No, we can just drop it randomly. There we go, we can reconnect that. Oop, and jump. There is a bed. It's tempting to try again. Uh, in theory, you can put the bed in the back of the truck by um, putting baskets in it, but you're also asking for more glitchy weirdness potential going on there. Oh, we've had enough glitchy weirdness for now. Uh, there is nothing. There really is nothing in here other than some paint. Nothing. Nothing of any good. Nothing of any good there either. Okay, well that was... A fairly boring house. And it am quite this kind of grassland area. I am ter was it terrified, but I am concerned about rabbits being sneaky. It's helpful that the render distance for it isn't massive, but still, 
a rabbit spawns in and you don't notice it, it could very easily sneak up to you in the grass and kill you. So I feel like hanging around outside is certainly a risk. I don't know where that container ship can be done. Oh, there's a water tower. There's a water tower a very, very long way over that direction, which we're not going to be going towards. We don't need. We don't need anything that badly. We don't need water for the truck that badly. I think we still have a jerry can full if something goes awry. I do feel like perhaps this game could do with I say I say maybe some survival aspects for the for the player. because uh, as I said before, you know, we've got to this point now where we can go a long way in between stops. Now I know the journey is a well, funnily enough as the name suggests, it's a very, very long journey here. Uh, we're not under any immediate pressure for a lot of it. And while you don't want, you know, things to be ridiculous with having to need to find water every 10 minutes or something. Like, th there is a thirst mechanic, it just doesn't really have much... Well, it's a liquid mechanic for the player. It's kind of a fluid storage. You can drink petrol and then you pee petrol. That's that's how it works. Rather than, you know, needing water to survive and all that. Uh, we're just going to clamp a really steep hill at the moment. Uh, sure, we will... We'll get up here. Random spawning in rabbit over there. I've been lucky in that even random spawning in rabbits that we've run over, nothing has caused massive glitching out. Uh, it is very, very possible. It, it is very, very possible indeed. Uh, this road is just curving around to nowhere particularly. I can't see any exciting buildings. We're picking up speed again now. Thankfully, the road has all leveled off. And yeah, I guess we're looking for yeah, I mean, we could do with finding maybe some barrels of something useful. We haven't really found much. Like, the container ships will have barrels, a lot of them are quite useless, and the only ones we've seen have been a really long way off the road. Like, so far off the road, it's just not worth that travel. So, yeah, if we could find a container ship. Oh, oh, we spy something is coming into. Something is coming into range. It's quite a big building. Not a building, right? Definitely does look like a building, rather than oh, oh no! I take it back. Oh, it, it was exciting for a moment, and then it's not exciting anymore. It was the top of a uh, rock formation. There is a petrol station. We're gonna try. Okay, we just about got the braking right this time. Look at that! How rare! We're gonna find another basket. On the back of a bike, we are! Happy days! That is about all of the useful things you have here for me. Uh, it's another complete... We're finding a lot of complete bikes in this one. I shall take this with me, thank you very much. Uh, game for giving me something kind of useful. Where did the engine... Oh, I didn't pick up the... Actually, wait, where did it go? Game... Where did my basket go? Oh, there it is. There's a green basket in the long grass. It's difficult to see. I thought I'd lost it and all of this drive had been for... for naught. Thankfully, however, not the case. Right, bike engine. You know what? You can just go sit in there for now. Uh, right. Container. You can... God, it's like GTA trying to shuffle yourself around. You know what that'll do. Uh, anything of any use over here. Uh, you are full of oil. Actually, that is kind of useful. What are you? Just a random light. Can I do anything with you? Probably not. I don't think I can... Actually, random question. Can you legit attach the wrong size light? No, you can't. I was just wondering because you can sometimes attach wonky stuff to things. So if we were finding out whether you could or not. Uh, like we've got the bus engine in our in our truck. Oh! <laughs> just kick the bike over without realising. Well done me. That can go in there. Uh, oh, there are some sunglasses. There's more oil. Maybe we'll just use this to fill up the engine or something. Oh, crap. Oh, I was worried we were going to get stuck in there. Hold on. Can we get the sunglasses? Nope. Yep. It's very difficult and everything. 
Yes. Uh, can I wear them? They're not, uh... Apparently not. Well, never mind then. No sunglasses for me. I... Ugh, I've got to get out of there. Before we get inevitably stuck or something stupid. What is that? It is a... Uh... Oh, that's a compass. Okay, that's fair enough. There is a good condition tire here. Actually, a better condition tire than my bloody current one. Uh, right, let's take that off. Fit that. Oh, fit that on, and that will do. Just try to jump back up. That's fine. Nothing's going to go wrong with any of that. We'll bring this along, you know, we'll bring the tyre with us. You never know what's going to happen. There's a little bit of parkour, jumping over the jerry can. If it's in there. I mean, I don't know how glitchy the tyre is. Oh, God, how glitchy the tyre is going to get. It's kind of half in a basket. Right. I mean, it's not the worst stop in the world. I mean, finding a bike, a bike full of diesel, it's helpful. For the two stroke there. Um, how much oil are we missing? Ah, okay, I can bring the giraffes when I do this. That's kind of helpful actually. Uh, water is full. Can I be cheeky and look at the bus engine anyway? No, I can't. I have to do it from inside. Whoops. I just got shoved along by something. Uh, right. Nope. Nope. No, no. no. Just punch the truck while we're at it. That's what we wanted to do. I can't see any rabbits. Let's say we're okay. Uh, how, how, oh. Downside of having the wrong engine is I don't know how I'm going to tell how I'm actually going to fill the oil up. It's not, funnily enough, the truck wasn't designed for this engine to be in it. I don't Oh, we might have to even take the engine out if we're going to change the oil. Uh, we might be able to do it from the other side, actually, from the passenger seat, come to think of it. It was full last I saw, or, or close enough to full that I'm not massively worried about it. So we'll just carry on. I just saw, right, I saw just... I, well, I thought I saw something to the left-hand side, but it was just one of the big kind of reddish rocks that are around the place. I mean, there's some huge mountains over here that there's just nothing... Oh, there's one hiding behind the pillar. Got it. Uh, talk about blind spots and everything. But, uh, yeah, there's no real incentive to go over and explore them. As far as, I've, as, far as I have ever seen, there's not been anything interesting. Uh, is that a boat? Or is that a, ro is that a boat or is that a rock? Difficult to tell, actually. It could be either. Kinda looks like a boat, if I'm honest. That might be worth a trip. You know, that might be worth our time. It's close enough to the road. Oh dear. Uh, we're going off this way anyway because I lost control of my truck. Shall we go and see what we can find? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Sudden appearing, sporting in rock has uh, scared the crap out of me. Where is the road? The road's over there somewhere. That's fine. Uh, I think actually the road... It looks like the road goes off towards this boat anyway. Nah, maybe it wasn't really necessary for us to head the weird way across a field. Well, not a field. We're back into desert again. Terrain. I mean, that does make rabbits easier to spot and everything. That's something. Uh, this weird reflections on the rocks. Totally not terrifying at all. Yeah, I probably made a bad call. I say we made a bad call. We're actually still barreling along quite nicely in terms of speed, even on this uh, dirt, on this desert. Hmm. What are we going to find in the... Well, what we're going to do first is have a sleep. Don't want to be exploring a truck at night. Uh, I think we could take the G-lamp around. I guess that would work. Yeah, this is literally right next to the road, so this is one of the nicest locations for a truck I think I've ever come across. Uh, right, here we go. This is where we will 
turn the vehicle off and have a sleep and hopefully you can't drain the batteries by falling asleep with the lights on I they, they don't think that's a thing this game does or deals with so yeah we don't have to worry about batteries however we have found yeah found a big old a big old boat what are we going to find in the barrels nothing in the first one anything that's mixed I don't want we've got oil I don't really want to be lugging another oil barrel around uh, that one's empty Damn it, they're all empty. Come on, give us something interesting. I want to find a barrel full of blood or alcohol, something. Because I mean, part of this journey was going to be trying to run vehicles on different fuel sources. We haven't really found much. Like it was a, can you use blood as a coolant or anything dumb like that in this game. But for that to work, we actually need to find the basic resources in the first place, which we haven't done. But uh, we've got a barrel of diesel that we will put into the fuel tank. Could do with... Well, I say could do with it. Uh, I won't turn it down, that's for sure. Uh, we, well, we've used four... We've used like four litres of diesel, and we're now about to pour in 30, 40 or 50, something along those lines. I didn't actually remember. As I started saying that sentence, I'd forgotten how much was in this drum, but it was plenty. I mean, this will last us for many episodes without needing a refuel now. Um, it is... Yeah, still still going. We're going to be good for a while. Uh, still still going? How close to full are we going to get? I say we're going to do this, and then something's going to screw us over. I don't know what, but I'm sure something. The game will find a way to ruin our day. We're still going? On the uh, filling up? How much diesel? Okay, there we go. Sweet. That is us sorted for a long, long time now in the truck. We've got stacks of fuel, so we really don't have to worry about it. I wonder how the cacti ended up ran over in there. We definitely didn't do that. I guess maybe the... Does the boat spawn on top? So maybe it spawned on top of a cacti and that's how it's being destroyed? Maybe that's how the world generation works? It's a load of oil. There's so much oil in this one. Don't really need that stuff. Haha, we have a barrel of alcohol, that's what we want. Yes. Good news! <laughs> this I'm sure we can run a car on. There's no way any of this is going to go wrong. Ah, uh, but yes, we will take this. We've got... I don't actually know what's in our other barrel. We have another barrel. Uh, the underside of our truck. So, not only are we storing stuff, we've got these bits here for the barrel. That one... Okay, we've got two barrels of alcohol, one barrel of oil. <laughs> Sounds like we're in for quite a party, really. Uh, we got in these ones. That's gas, oil, and diesel. That's of no use. That's a bunch of oil. That's empty. That's empty. Uh, what are you full of? A mixture. It's no real good to me. That's some oil, nothing crazy. Uh, mixture one. I, mean, I want to know quite how these boats ended up so far away from any sign of water. Uh, you can, like, one boat, maybe, with some weird set of circumstances, but the amount of boats we find, unless maybe we're driving across what was an ocean once in this post-apocalyptic world. Who knows? Uh, there has been... Outside... Oh, some more... Some more diesel. I, you know, might as well. While we're here, it would be rude not to, really. I, well actually, what we're going to do with this barrel, if if I actually can get it out of here, is rather than fill the truck up, I'm going to put it in the back. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, I don't actually know whether it's true, but apparently one of the UFOs can fly by and it can basically make you lose all your liquids, which... If I don't ha which I don't know whether that just is just what's actually in the engine at the time, so the cooling oil at the time, or whether that's everything. It can't be everything, because if it was everything, you'd just be stranded whenever it turned up. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of hoping there are, like, that's just from what I've seen from comments. I'm hoping there are random events like that in this game. I feel like it needs something, just a little, a little something like that to uh, add... Say a little bit, a little, a little bit more to the uh, to the adventure. Right, we have got 
a tyre, we've got a barrel full of alcohol, barrel full of diesel. Yeah, we're looking good. We're actually looking surprisingly, surprisingly well sorted. I don't know what's sticking out of the side there. There's no way that can go wrong at all, is there? I feel like there's no chance that's going to glitch out massively, ever. Nah, that couldn't happen, could it? I presume it's something to do with the bike. It's probably the handlebars of the bike. Uh, right, come on, truck. Let us get back onto this road. We will continue our adventure on to whatever next interesting thing we run into is, really. Um, yeah, I guess we will... We're hoping, A, to find a slightly better speedo. We're on a little bit of a quest for that. And... I guess we're now going to try and see if we can make cars run on silly fuels. It'll depend on what we find, though. Uh, we can't bring any cars with us, sadly. Well, I have uh, I have seen people... You can kind of load a car into the flatbed trailer. But I've also seen the clips submitted to the Fairways episodes of how badly wrong that often goes with things glitching out. So we, we, I'm not likely to try that one. Unless the game gets updates and changes further down the line where that is more of a plausible idea, shall we say? I feel like the chances of a physics ball, even if you get the vehicle on the trailer, if you get out of the car and everything is fine, I feel like as soon as you hit a bump, the car and trailer interaction is not going to be a good time for anyone, really. I feel like it's just going to pig itself to space. So that is not currently on the list of plans. Uh, let's go and slow this down as we head towards... Oh, well, I mean, this building is actually... Well, I mean, it's on the road. It crosses the road. No oh, sign of a car or anything that we can play around with, really. We will just come to a halt. Hmm. What might you contain, building of mysteries? Ooh, I have a sponge. That is good. We like the sponges. Uh, you know what? That can just go... That's close enough. We'll inevitably forget about that. Yes, we've got a basket. Okay, that is also good. Uh, right. If we do that, we will try and load all of this stuff up. Uh, come on. There we go. We'll try and take it back all in one go. Uh, right, up the ladder we head. Anything fun in here? Some gas, not really worth all that much. We don't use gas. I think there's a big, I don't know, something full of gas. I might take it just in case. What are you? Uh, that's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> don't need that. Uh, don't don't need that at all. Or it's haunted and I've just pissed off a demon. I guess that could also be possible. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with unlikely on that. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take my take my chances that, that probably wasn't what happened. Or what was gonna happen? Although that being said, always a risky game. Uh, do we have what? I think we have a siphon. I might grab it just in case. You can never have too many of these sorts of things, really. I'll try and pick you up. I'll try and remember to pick you up on the way out. There's nothing really exciting on the bridge. Is that an entire... That is an entire leg. Um. <laughs> you can club things with a leg. I've, we've seen a lot of arms around the place. Have we found a leg before? I mean, I'm also curious as to where the rest of the person that this leg is, well, the leg came from. Like, this is a remarkably clean area for a random leg to be found. I feel like if you think about it too hard, it's a bit sketch. It's very sketchy, actually. So let's maybe not think about it too too much. Uh, let's not ponder the. Ooh, that's quite a long way down, actually. Let's not ponder too much about where the rest of the person is. I'm going to guess the rabbit's got them. That is probably, to be fair, that is probably the case. Uh, 
crap, where did I throw the snake? I thought I threw it off this side. Maybe I didn't. Snake? Well, not a snake. Definitely not a snake. Where is the siphon gone? As I said, we have got one. It's not the end of the world. If I've lost it. I guess it serves me right for dropping stuff out of buildings. And kind of just hoping for the best. It must have bounced or fallen through the floor or... Maybe it got caught on that... Ledge? No, I don't know what that is. Possibly. If I wasn't paying attention. As I said, I got one. There was only going to be a backup spare. It's not exactly like it was of the utmost importance, really. Hmm. Well, I mean, today's journey has actually been pretty sensible. Not, not, I think, too crazy has really gone on. Uh, he will just drop that down. Can I? Oh, oh God. Don't stand on the tyres. Christ. Uh, we just do that and then, well, that's good enough. Yeah, nothing too crazy has really happened in all of this. Uh, I mean, we've made the truck slightly shinier, badly. Uh, we're not really doing it very sensibly. Uh, come on, that's about it as far as the uh, as far as the adventures go. We've found some stuff. We're kind of ready for whenever I might be able to find some cars. Now uh, we can possibly try some silly shenanigans with the next vehicles we come across. I was kind of hoping we would find one here, uh, but not quite the case. We might need to... S we can do it finding a... Because we're done with a barrel of um, gas just in case. Well, it depends on what sort of car. Actually, all the cars... All the cars themselves are petrol-powered. They might be two-stroke, but... Crap. You can't get a diesel car... Well, without swapping something, of course. Uh, but there we go. Yeah, I mean, we've got a load more stuff. For this. We have done that. We've got a load more bits and pieces for our truck. Uh, we've got the centre console actually. I guess that's something that we have amazingly found today. Um, we have got a centre console for our truck, which is something at least. Uh, we found a leg. That's that's about the, the, the excitement really. It's not quite the same as finding a GD. Oh, I forgot. I'm not playing that game. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, not, not quite the same level of excitement. I mean, we're all, the back of the truck is the trailer's a bit better organised. I feel like we are in a very, very strong position uh, going forward. And I say that, and something is going to find a way to screw us over. Uh, isn't it? I've barely seen any rabbits. The only rabbits I've seen are miles away. I mean, that one... I don't even know if I could hit it from here. We'll give it a try. I only fire one shot. Hey, we did! Look at that! Okay. Was not expecting that to work. That's it. <laughs> well, I did something. Yeah, it's been a relatively quiet... I mean, that is how it goes sometimes on this game. It's just a random trip. Just a random trip down the road. It has been relatively quiet. But there we go. That is going to be it for this episode. Who knows what next time will, next time will bring. Um, probably some... We've had too much... Too much good times, so I'm sure something bad is bound, bound to happen. We've got to start the wheels on the back of the truck, actually, as well. That's something else I need to do. It's not pristine yet, but we're getting there. That is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.